Yeah. Hi ho we way everybody. Hi ho we way. Happy day after Christmas. Yes. Welcome to the Christmas wasteland. Yeah. The after party. Yeah, we don't know what to do until New Year's, and then even New Year's, we don't know what to do. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah. Everyone gets the day off, and nobody can do anything. Oh my God! Can you imagine? Like, is it? I feel like it. There's gonna be a super spreader event for like New Year's more than anything, because like mm -hmm. you think people are just gonna not go to rush to the. Center of New York and like sit in Times Square. Like, can you imagine that? Everyone's gonna be like, "Well, uh, this is my one chance." Oh, everyone thought of this. Absorb Android Seventeen. <laughs> oh, for kombucha. Uh, let's play the intro song and get right into it. Hell yeah! It gets me fired up. I know. I'm so. I've been typing all night, my hands went on the keys. <laughs> and it's Oprah's voice that rattles my knees. Wow, that's it, dude. When I get lonely and I need some comedy, I turn to Jason, Tony, Jim, and Corey. Good thing it's the start of the show! Here is the thing we call AIPD. What prompts will we get tonight? AIPD. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Corey is belting his rock star. Inner rock star. Yeah. And that's another thing, too. You're right, Biz. New Year's Eve is normally time to get just blackout drunk and hang out with your friends and loved ones. But uh, I don't know about you guys. I haven't really drunk much of anything this year. I could count that number of alcoholic beverages I've had on like two people. Spoil <laughs> spoiler know. alert, those kombuchas I give you got a little bit of alcohol. Well, I mean I mean like compared to what I would normally drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay, maybe not then. But still uh, a fraction. A fraction You're right. of percent. You should make Corey sing it every time. Yeah, he does. Live. He's just, mm -hmm. he's just there's no words to that song. He's just always even if his mouth isn't moving. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's up, Graham? What's up, Misha? Uh let's get into story one. Get ready for story one. Uh, this one's by Sure Why Not. You are Plumbucha, the ultimate life form. You wake up early because you have a busy day ahead of you. You must accomplish mm -hmm. the following 10 tasks. Oh, okay. Eins, Start eat all the food in your house and then go out to find something else to eat. 2. Go outside and get into the most dangerous position possible. Oh, what? What? Uh, what is that, like ass up in the street? Yeah, I guess <laughs> ass up, uh, legs behind your head, <laughs> um, and then your arms completely spread out. What? That's my guess. Like on some railroad tracks. Get get a passerby to link your handcuffs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, a, oh, is that David Blaine setting up another? No, no, no. It's just some guy doing. It's kombucha. Don't worry about him. It's on my to do list. Three. Get on the roof of your house and look down at the city below. Hard to do that Four, when I'm in the most go dangerous. Go to the bathroom possible. and pee. Oh. This is important. <laughs> okay. That seems like that should have been the first step if that's really important. Hmm. Bladder you your bladder all day. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't see where this plan is going, but I have hope. Five. I mean, if that's fourth on the list, and put on some clothes. Six. Okay. Take a shower and wash off any soap residue left by the previous test. <laughs> this one's easy. Thanks, Oprah. Wait, we put on our clothes and then take a shower. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this list. Someone dropped the cue cards and they're out of order. Is your first name Clum? Whoa, what is that face? Degree, degree. <laughs> Why the face? Seven, go back outside and this time what? go down the street to where that human lives. Whoa. Just one. Face. Just one? Go back outside. How does the AI know that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm a little bit weirded out. This is what Jason does. Yeah. This is what you I do. You have to find a lone human. 
<laughs> okay. Eight. Go back inside and eat some delicious food. Two steps where I eat a Nine, lot of food. Go back outside and find a warm place to sleep. Okay. Ten. Outside. Wake up to a new day full of exciting possibility. <laughs> That's all before we wake up. Yeah. Wow. So we have to do that all while sleepwalking? God damn, yeah, this is a hard list of things to do. Huh. <sighs> okay. We it, got this. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is It is a pretty busy day. There is a single, singular human life. Emily knows where it is, yeah. Sorry about that. I had to <laughs> mute myself. I sneezed. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. As Maybe... We could try and bust get as many of these things done as possible yeah let's, let's start get dressed in the shower and <laughs> this seems piss. like like a post-apocalyptic world where there's just one other guy that lives down the street oh uh, possibly yeah. yeah sleep peeing is the hardest yeah or the easiest depending on who you are yeah it's pretty easy if you're drunk yeah, I guess if you just like, when you wake up from the sensation of having to pee and just stay there. Just have to pee and get dressed in the shower. There we go. Knock it out. You pee and get dressed in the shower all in about two minutes. That's good time. You think you did a pretty good job because you got it on the first try. And yeah, no, not today. We're not taking two showers. I peed all by myself. <laughs> uh. You open the cupboards and see you have no food. Task one complete. <laughs> All right, I'm broke. Uh, you go outside and head down the street to visit your human neighbor. Your one human neighbor. <laughs> whose name is... Never trust a fart after a party? <laughs> now that's a t-shirt. <laughs> you get to the street and see a car coming. You stand <gasps> in the middle and see if it will... Crash. You dodged it. Now what? <laughs> Bill, why are cars going through your front door like a open motorway here? Like <laughs> Bill's is family that the is the most just... dangerous position. Yeah, maybe. Guys, I can't wait for cars when they all have like automatic stopping systems. You can just walk in the street and cars will stop for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can test that one. Oh, <laughs> man! E. Quinn, the the mayor uh, of the city full of mannequins. Your dex is twenty. Yeah, dodging a speedy car. Now what? You contact Manny Quinn, the mayor of the city full of mannequins, and make and file a complaint. That too many drunk drivers make your neighborhood unsafe. <laughs> you want to be reelected, Manny? Huh. You think these other mannequins are going to vote for you? Or me? The ultimate life form. You fall asleep watching a movie. Now it's 5 p.m. You woke up one hour ago. What's oh. next? Uh, uh, what, what, what is next? Uh, let's see. We got to go back inside and eat some delicious food. And then we got to go outside and find a warm place to sleep. We decide a warm place to sleep would be your neighbor, Bill. Oh, inside of a Bill? We'll just slice <laughs> them open. Yeah. Like on Hoth. Yep. <laughs> Some, uh, Bill Tauntaun. Yeah, Tauntaun. 
Hey, Bill, you want to go outside for a second? Yeah, sure. What's up? Bombucha? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you go to the living room and hop on the couch. Okay. You grab a pillow and lay your head down. You drift off to <laughs> sleep and have a wonderful dream about a land of chairs. Ah, uh, hmm. All land these, of chairs. All these chairs, I could sit in any one of them. Which one will I choose? And we're just Big prancing chairs, through small chairs. rows of chairs, all kinds of different chairs. I don't know. I can't pick one. Wait, it's not a dream. Oh, it's God. a nightmare. Oh, God. Mr. Kombucha. Cl it's Klumbucha. Mr. Klambuchas. Uh, can you please take your seat? I don't know which one to take. Take your seat now and prepare for your exam. <laughs> oh, no! You do a lot of sleeping. Yeah, we've slept three times already in the story. Okay, let's, uh... <laughs> let's see. I'm looking back at the list here. You go outside. You wake up and go outside to get in the most dangerous position <laughs> possible. Oh, God. You hear a car. You hear a car heading your way. You close your eyes and dot, dot, dot. Land of Chairs is better than Shopping Cart City. I don't know. Shopping Cart City was pretty fun. Lay down in the middle of the street. The car stops just <laughs> before hitting you and the passenger window rolls down. Did you really think you could fool me? <coughs> I'm no idiot, says a familiar voice. I think it's the mayor. I think it's Manny. He's like, what are you... <coughs> <coughs> I was here to check out the neighborhood see... How dangerous! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you, you gaze up to see the familiar voices. <clears throat> Water went down the wrong tube. Oh my god. Whoa! What's a mannequin doing driving a car? You ask. <gasps> it's Lena the life size mannequin. Oh, Lena! The mayor's dog. Life size. If they're nice. not life size, then they're not mannequins, right? <laughs> Um, uh, no, they can be life size, but yeah, usually. I mean, most mannequins are life size, right? That's what I yeah. mean. Yeah, they're not life size. Is. They're dolls. Oh yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Is she a robot though? Maybe we're in like some weird like Truman show. Self. I gotta go get some water. I'll be right back. Okay. You asked to see Lena's driver's license. Proof of insurance. Oh, Lena, it's funny seeing you here. I was just doing a dangerous position in the road and you, <laughs> you pulled up. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, it's weird when she doesn't read it. Oh. Jason has to highlight it once he yeah. returns. All right, sorry about that. Oh, no problem. Hello. I demanded Manicons her driver's can license. can drive. Or can uh, uh, they? Oh, uh, okay. Driver's license and proof of insurance, you demand. Don't demand. need it. I'm driving a friend's car, she answers. Oh, ah, okay, so it's not even your vehicle. So right now you're driving a possibly stolen vehicle. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Oh, you got the hiccups now. Oh, yeah, I've only made it worse. If I survived the night, let everybody know. <laughs> it makes sense, and at the same time, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, it's we're like, masquerading yeah. as a cop. Citizens arrest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder how often that actually happens. Oh no, it's contagious. Jim's. I, I, oh. I passed Jim my I hiccups have. up. No, I still have them. 
you look in the back seat and see a bloody fingerprint on the window. Ah. AIPD, motherfucker. Yep. And yeah. yell. AIPD, motherfucker. Hell yeah. <laughs> the AIPD breaks through the passenger window and spooks out all the people in the car. It runs away while people scream, wait, it was a deliberate theft. Oh no! Oh no! Stop, we were just stealing. Yeah. <laughs> I redeemed Jason Hiccups for... Yeah. <laughs> you did it, Graham. This is your fault. Um, okay. You realize this act of justice has been uh, <laughs> has been the seed uh, necessary for your next stage of life. The next you stage of life. You began to transform. <laughs> Cocoon, engage. Uh, game two. <laughs> and then we'll level up. Oh, shit. God damn. I hate that it's like the one thing that you can't just fix immediately. Oh, whoa! NAIPD. You wake up and it's 2 p.m. You've been asleep for seven hours. Jesus! What's oh next? Oh my god. At the world has changed. It's always weird to see the things that Emily hooks on to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna redo up. that, because I, I don't like transforming it. All. It doesn't really make the most sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's really just latching on to- Oh, whoa! A vigilante now that I starting get with Ugh. a new look. You walk around the city looking for a nice hat. You see a man with a nice black and white hat, but he turns before you can say anything. Are we going to steal his hat? Uh, you level up and gain the following... <laughs> Vigilante powers, motherfucker. Vigilante skills. <laughs> First black and white hat I found was a black and white trilby. Oh yeah, Please like don't a, wear it. Like a twenties uh, <laughs> gangster. Weapon specialist hands. Vigilante visionary. Oh. You put on the hat and realize it has a mask built in. Nobody can awesome. recognize Whoa, you. Oh, cool. You walk around the city to find. Gotta find some criminals now. Oh, we're a crime fighter now. Uh, you see a mannequin jaywalking. And run to apprehend him. Yeah. Run to arrest him. If you've got a mask, you're a crime fighter. Find him. Find the car parked on the double yellow line. You have 24 hours to move out of Whoa! the city. You say, why should I have to leave? He uh, says, Cause we're in charge of the law now, motherfucker. The mass Klumbucha is here. <laughs> no more jaywalking ever again. <laughs> the mannequin resists arrest. They always do. We could just move the city. Stop resisting. Put it away from the criminal. Refuses your request. Hmm. Continues to jail. Oh. And resist arrest. So he's doing everything to piss us off. Stop resisting this beating. Stop <laughs> resisting. Uh oh. You. Come on, give it to us, Oprah. Give us the, the ending we want. Was that whole 
entrant entry you oh whoa <laughs> F, shoot him with a gun whoa. b punch him c, two ignore him and walk away i vote for two yeah you punch him <laughs> Better the gun, yeah, for sure. D, kiss him. Yeah, we could have. He no! falls over and splits into two pieces. <laughs> what the fuck? The man says as he looks at the pieces of the mannequin on the floor. You take off your hat and... Why would we do that? Our hat was our disguise. Now everyone <laughs> knows. I am Iron Man! <laughs> <laughs> Tony Stark. Oh god, it's Tony. I am Klumbucha. Uh, blame the wind. Uh, oh, I like the choices. B, laugh maniacally. Oh, you maniacally it's laugh. choices. Yeah. <laughs> the man doesn't realize you're the one who did it. He calls the police and. Oh, I got the next it again. But Emily, keep going. Just tell the story. Yeah, go for it. It's, it's like a Bob Dylan lyric blame the wind. Yeah, I blame the wind. Oh, whoa. Another. Uh, you get arrested. Duh, B. B. You successfully bribe the police. You bribe the police and the man doesn't do anything. You buy a bus ticket out of the city that night. Alright, the moral of the story. Wow, the AI is really just taking it by itself tonight. It's yeah. an initiative. It's giving us options and then choosing the option for herself. <laughs> Everybody. What's the moral of the story they have to tell us? Thanks for giving us choices and taking them, exactly. <laughs> I pick up for the rest of the episode, I swear to God. <laughs> nah, redo, redo. Always bribe the police. Now that I can get behind. Yeah. What, are they just going to not take the money? <laughs> Jingle time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Story two. You might find yourself reading story two and ask yourself, how did I get here? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, the second story is by... Annotation. Sorry, not you, Annotation. <laughs> you are Long Schlong Silver, retired porn star and famous folk singer. You're trying oh, to nice. have a nice, socially distanced New Year's Eve. Very, very relevant. You have a firecracker and a half full bottle of booze. Only one problem. A polar bear is currently munching on your le legs. Oh, God. <laughs> and German D is currently in your request queue. Oh, and, I hope he says long schlong silver. You know, <laughs> long schlong silver. Silver. The AI does not know what to do. What the fuck? Come on. Okay. Oh, fuck. You say, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to scare him off. The bear Please looks at you with me. his big brown eyes and shakes his head. Sc scare who off? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare him off. So somebody inter interrupted the bear? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, no, no. A polar bear, I guess, could have brown eyes. Maybe someone was scared of the firecrackers. Yeah. Yeah, who's this guy? Who's this guy who scared the polar bear off? And th thought that we would love to be continue to be eaten by it. Oh man, I, I, didn't, I didn't know if you knew that polar bear, so I didn't want to walk up and scare, scare him. <laughs> like, no, thank you, you saved our fucking life. You light the firecracker and place it in the polar bear's <laughs> butt. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Hell yeah. Robin! Repository. Robin! You light the firecracker Language, and Emily. then place it in the polar bear's ass. Oh. The bear lets out a loud roar and leaps onto you. He bites down on your neck and begins to tear up your face with his teeth. Uh-huh. Mm. Well, I'm about to tear up that ass. Yeah. 
Jason? I'm going to say that. Oh, yeah, you got it? I'm going to say the firecracker explodes inside the bear's ass. There you go. It's about to be brain and polar bear ass. Hallelujah. Amen. The bear's, the bear's Asha. He's lucky we were merciful and didn't give him the old long schlongen. Mm -hmm. Punkt. He is blinded by the smoker and lets go of your neck. Good. You shove your fist down his throat, pulling <gasps> out his gullet and heart as he dies. His scrot? You are severely <laughs> injured. What? Wow. <laughs> you are severely injured. You the, the polar bear has still been munching upon your legs. Yup, did exactly the same thing we tried out the scenario. Oh, that's great. <laughs> We're just paid by numbers here. Uh, okay, Jason, your friend who's visiting you because he needs a hiccup medicine. Uh, <laughs> ta takes you to a nearby emergency room. There's a whole t town in the middle of the Arctic. All the kids are getting hiccups. Mm -hmm. We gotta get the medicine there as fast as possible. Yep. Uh, what's that dog? What's that dog who actually wasn't really even the dog that did it? But, uh, Baldo? A dog, or Baldo, yeah. Or one of those dogs. You should have mountains. gone to the hospital Valor. hours ago, says Dr. Klemperer. Ah. Let's get you fixed up, doctor. You mean before I was being eaten by a giant polar bear? Yeah, I think that I should have been at a hospital. Thank you, doctor. But can you just fix me without the uh, the extra added uh, dialogue? Oh. Should have gone to the hospital hours ago, because there are no polar bears in the hospital. Thank you, <laughs> asshole. Yeah, that's like saying you should have uh, come here before you got hurt. Yeah, oh, thank you. Klemperer saves your neck and face back on. You can't believe it. Wow, you could do anything at a hospital nowadays. Modern, modern medicine, really. Is it like that operation where we get a monkey's face? Oh, yeah. Uh, why is my neck in so much? Oh, my God. They're like, yeah, we, we couldn't just use regular stitches. We had to graft some skin on there. Why is it the monkey's face? Why I say that you, you look into the mirror and see. Oh, yeah. Clemperer Palpatine. Oh, that's great, yeah. <laughs> Ultimate power to sew your face back up. Couldn't you just use, like, neutral skin patch? Why did you have to use an identifiable piece of the monkey? <laughs> Uh-oh. You are a long schlong silver, a retired porn star. After two sequels and some personal problems, you've settled down in Tennessee. Okay! Uh, yes, the dangerous Tennessee polar bears! <laughs> yep. <laughs> It must have been at the zoo. You, you check your That's back pocket. Quite as bad. That's that is that is extra good, Jim. This is drunk asshole. It's New Year's Eve. He's at the polar bear exhibit. <laughs> We're partying, man. Uh, Gonna hug a polar bear. New Happy New Year's. You find a bit of polar bear bait, uh, in your back pocket. And head back to the Tennessee Zoo. Head back to the Nashville Zoo. <laughs> to lure out the polar bear once again. And exact your revenge. That's our New Year's resolution. Always get revenge on the polar bear that bit your ass and crashed your face off. <laughs> it's just science. Revenge science. Oh no, come on. What? You are no, a long no, no. long silver. A retired porn star. After yeah. two sequels and some personal problems, you've settled down in Tennessee. 
You walk through the city streets, making your way to the Nashville Zoo. You see a poster advertising an Elvis Presley movie that's showing at a local movie theater. That's a cool piece of history. I imagine they just have that framed up somewhere. And they yeah, say, under it just oh. says, no, he's really back. He's al he's alive again. Yeah, <laughs> Pre Prestley with a T. Oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's so different. Oh, that's trick. That That is something they would do. You show up and he's like, I ain't nothing but a kitty cat. <laughs> a hunky chunky burning monkey. Is Long Shang gonna cure Jason? Yeah, it's only ne it, he he should be helping me because uh, I saved his life. And of all things, he goes back to the zoo that where he got mortally wounded almost. You arrive at the zoo and see the Arctic exhibit is a roiling battlefield between the wolves and polar bears. Oh fuck yeah. Hell oh yeah. yes. This is what zoos need is just fucking animals being animals. This you is like Narnia. <laughs> yeah, I, I, this is a little bit one sided, but <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a pretty fair fight. This is Wolf it, you say. Bears. This is the day I kill that polar bear. Oh. You wait patiently for hours until the coast is clear. Then, you enter the Arctic exhibit. Long schlong really doubling down. <laughs> you pull out your trump card. You're long. Uh, but worn rod. What? <laughs> it's very smooth from all the polishing. Yep. Big rod. You begin to wave it around in front of you. Come on out, bear. You shout. Suddenly, the bears appear from around the corner. Oh, I should have anticipated that multiple would be here. Why did I... <laughs> I couldn't face one. Why did I think I could take on a horde of bears? <laughs> Good you thing we waited till the toast was clear. You see 100 bear, polar bears round the corner and realize you have made a huge mistake. You turn Should've around. Brought a bigger, bigger rod. You turn around and see uh, 400 uh Arctic wolves. You are trapped. The only way through is to fight. You face the polar bears and charge into battle. Polar bear whoopies? Oh, wait. I think it's gone. Hey. Jeez. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh. The bears tear you apart. The wolves eat what's left. <laughs> that's that's the most realistic answer. You know what, though? I'm going to roll they the dice. They were working together. I'm going to second wind, and uh, I'm going to call a redo. You swing your dick around and do your best <laughs> to stay alive. <laughs> You manage to fend off the bears, but in the process you get mauled and eaten alive. I like that one a little bit better. I like to think yeah, we, 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 we gave at least a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. Well, that was, the, that was the lesson we learned from last night. It's better to swing your dick on your knees than to die or something. <laughs> yeah, to die standing up. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like that we've completely butchered that. That's definitely not what it was. But... It's better to suck dick on your knees than <laughs> whip your dick in a bunch of polar bears sitting down. Also, I like that we retried it. Emily's like, listen, I'm trying, but if there's 400 and listen, 100 you, bears. You, you really gave too it. many uh, vicious predator animals. 
That was plan A. Valid combat tactic. Well, we were brought back from like, the grave once before. I think we could do it again. You wake up in the zoo hospital. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah, your wounds were so much worse this time that they couldn't rush you to a emergency room. You had to wake up in the zoo hospital. I like to think with like the penguins are saving us. Yeah. The penguins have operated on us. <laughs> the vet doctor distemper telling you. It's all down. It's this is all a big war hill, and the penguins <laughs> like slid through the blood like a luge, blood luge. <laughs> Oh, in their belly? Yep, took us to safety. <laughs> but they didn't realize how sharp their beaks were, and so instead of saving us, they impale us even more. But at least we slide down the mountain with them. Dr. Distemperer tells you, we did all we could. You look into the mirror and see. Oh god, oh god. Your long shot monkey silver. monkey face. <laughs> A monkey face. Oh. <laughs> oh! You are a long schlong silver, a retired pawn star with a new dick. Oh! You will live oh. the rest of your life in Tennessee, wondering what could have been. Yeah. Wait, what could have been? You mean in death? Yeah, that sounds better than what was. Uh, Misha's just got a good point. The dick on your face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. our face is finally complete. It's grafted a bunch of, you know, a bunch of uh, porn stars that we knew died, and Your they genitals. they donated their genitals. Yeah, so we got a couple badges on our on our neck, and then we got the rest is all <laughs> penis skin. Your, like we couldn't save your face, but your genitals were completely destroyed. We could reuse them. <laughs> Is uh, that my own dick? <laughs> yeah, you bet, sir. You're gonna have to be doing different types of porn now. You are mm. the miracle dickhead. Uh, no, go for it. Whatever you got. Getting a cold would be weird. <laughs> yeah, your snout looks weird. Uh, your nose is dripping. Uh -huh. Yeah, you better... Uh, if you get pregnant tomorrow... You face fuck your way across the country <laughs> as a new dick face, as a new dick faced porn star. Yeah, I, I mean, that would be wildly popular. I mean, what else? What other options would you have? You're too unsavory to work in a normal desk job. You get Everything an idea. Like Your penis. new face looks <laughs> just like it did before, and you're a porn star. Why not combine the two and Facebook your way from Tennessee to New York? <laughs> Why not? You face Good idea, yeah, sure. You face fuck your way from <laughs> Tennessee to New York. <laughs> Copy paste. Yep. Yeah. Great idea. So, you know, when you got a good idea, AI, we got to go with it. You do great work, Long Schlong, but the camera hates your face. <laughs> yeah, you make Zura to fill your throat with various items and it works. You become what? a huge porn star. <laughs> All Don't sorts ask. of items. Dick. Yeah. Dick. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some of the various items that have been in your throat are so huge you're a beast. What? You could have loads of women at the same time. <laughs> I think it would still take, we'd still have to go like one to one. A rake, your oh, high school message. basketball team. A Whoa! horse. You continue to dick stuff your throat until you die of suffocation. <laughs> <laughs> the horse. The horse finally <laughs> killed us. You think we would have learned our lesson with an entire basketball team? <laughs> oh my god. That's the best death we've ever had, I think. 
<laughs> you continue wow. to dig stuff in your throat until you die of suffocation. This guy died doing, doing what he loved. Wow. Oh my god, the horse was too much. You know, when you move on to animals, you know, humans aren't supposed to fuck animals, so. <laughs> you just, you're gonna <laughs> suffocate. Bad. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god. We write our memoirs, or someone writes them, life is a dick sleeve. Uh-huh. Don't follow in Long Schlong's footsteps. Now, uh, that's another moral I can get behind. <laughs> do not do yeah. what he did. First off, don't start shit with polar bears. I mean, even if you're armed, you're not ready to fight a polar bear. No, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Even the people that sit on the bench. Even the towel boy. Ugh. Well, we were just trying to be a people pleaser. Bring more towels, please. <laughs> I'm choking. I'm choking. <laughs> it's oh, the last story. story. This last prompt of the night is by Duke. Thank you, Duke. Thanks, Duke. Uh, you are Kenny, and you just had the most amazing sex with your girlfriend, Joanna. After a long night of steamy action, you both passed out together in bed. This night, you had a rather weird dream about having sexual intercourse with Joanna. When the Kool-Aid man suddenly burst through the wall and yelling... Uh, and yells, oh yeah. And you kept shushing him out of the room multiple times. The next morning, you wake up, turn your head to the right, and see Joanna still asleep. You know something moving on your left, and you turn your head to see the real Kool-Aid man lying there in bed with you. Having an unsettling grin on his face. Oh, we, we all know what happened. He says, I'm so glad you came over today. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. The Kool-Aid man then proceeds to have some sort of conversation with you. You know, near minor chit-chat and pillow talk. Uh. <laughs> I'm What's now that? listening. <laughs> He's whispering to my genitals. <laughs> Wouldn't the Kool-Aid man spill out? Maybe we got one of those, like, uh, sleep number beds that's, like, at an incline. At a very yeah, steep just... incline, though. Or he's just got a lid for when he's sleeping. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> he just wears like a big hat. <laughs> the Kool-Aid man dips a finger oh, into, no. in, into his into his drink. Vessel? Yeah. His, into his drink. I think Kool-Aid is considered and, drank run, with an A. Oh, thank runs you. it across <laughs> your <Yeah>. lips. <laughs> Maybe Joanna leaves you for the Kool-Aid man. Maybe we leave Joanna for the Kool-Aid man. Eh? How oh, yeah. That? You the Kool-Aid man. So the how do you like living here? The Kool-Aid man asks. Ooh, yeah, the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> Kool He's got the Kool-Aids. Uh, you you <laughs> also, say... this is awful pillow talk. Enough chit-chat. <laughs> Why are you here, Kool-Aid man? I was trying to have a nice, intimate uh, night with my girlfriend, and not you. <laughs> Jump inside the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Splish splash, and I'm taking a bath. Inside the Kool-Aid man. He just wanted to see you, the Kool-Aid man says while stroking Joanna's hair. Ooh, this, this is like a roommate too close. You know, Kool-Aid man? Stroking her, his hair, her hair with one hand with a knife pressed against her neck with the other. Oh. Like, oh. I just wanted to see you. It's shit like this, Kool-Aid man, that makes us 
say that you should move out. <laughs> uh -huh. We broke up years ago. Okay. You say we broke up years ago. It's over. It's over. You're being a real decade, man. <laughs> I know, and I wasn't mad. I actually respected the fact that you just wanted to be friends. That's a lie. You're a this good guy. Do you have man. some sort of beverage fetish or something? <laughs> uh, <I think> the <laughs> beverage fetish? Yeah. Uh, he's like, what are you talking about? Do you have some sort of beverage fetish? Like, like, yes, that's why we went out with you. Yeah. Of course, course. obviously. Duh. You realize that the Kool-Aid man is unhinged and going to snap if you don't help them calm down? Yes. Okay. Rupple, I'm getting mixed messages. What are you talking about? I am calm. You calm down. <laughs> no, you're being a real hot aid man. It's like the worst thing you could do is tell someone to calm down. Yeah, calm down. I am it calm! Ne it never works. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a Capri Sun fetish. Oh, yeah. Any kind of beverage. You say, get a hold of yourself, kool -Aid man. You're the kool -Aid man, damn it. Your flavor and fun personified. Oh! You don't do things like, like. Hey, Kool-Aid. That's yours if you want it. Your flavor and fun personified. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so true. It's so accurate. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that is sometimes i think okay maybe the ai is just like spitting out stuff and not really thinking of stuff and then it says stuff like that and it's just like ah. it's genius ask him if he wants some kool-aid should we next it yeah yeah you don't do things like 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 what like what what do i do not do for you kool-aid man we're just friends. I can't kiss you all the time. You say, like, like pick up guys, and then break up with them. Oh. The cool late man says, he just wanted to be friends. I want to be with you. Okay, this story is very confusing because yeah. it seems like, at first, at first glance, it seems like uh, the Kool-Aid man was being creepy. But now it seems like we kind of, yeah, why would you live with your ex-boyfriend? Uh, seems just like an odd situation. Seems like we're, seems like we kind of still have feelings with the Kool Aid Man, you know, a little bit. It's like he's confused. Oh, it's like confused. friends, huh? Yeah, I, it like, is like friends. But, yeah, yeah. this is like a weird fucked up beverage version of friends. They all used to date each other at one time. It's so fucking weird. Yeah. Would you like to go get some coffee and talk? Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Pib didn't break down my walls every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yes, let's go get coffee, and you tell me more about this girlfriend of yours. You look over at your girlfriend who has yet to wake up. Uh, a little bit strange. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Has she been poisoned, or is she just really tired? From all the sex we didn't actually have. Hmm. Kool-Aid and coffee. <laughs> That'll satisfy our beverage fetish. More coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Try new Kool-Aid brown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the coffee Flavor flavors. and fun. Oh, yeah. Flavor, fun, and anxiety personified. You have a long talk with the Kool-Aid man at the coffee shop. And decide the best thing for everyone would be to have the Kool-Aid man move out. So you could move on.
Don't you forget about beverages. <laughs> the Kool-Aid man protests at first but then agrees. He says he wants you to be happy and that he'll be around if you need him. Wow. Uh, that guy is fun personified. Wow. It's very adult of him. That's a good, that's the kind of flavor I like. You go home and help the Kool-Aid <laughs> man move out. And then the next day, or that night, we're making love. Okay. And we see the we see a little flash of red outside one of the windows. Okay. I like to think that we we're fucking our girlfriend, but we're thinking of the Kool Aid Man. Oh, we got a redemption. <laughs> Glenn Rivers, your old high school bully who works as a barista at the coffee shop, and is also secretly having sex with your girlfriend, Joanna. Oh my god. Things. Okay, that changes things a little bit. We'll that see. does change things. Find the job. Maybe we're better man. off. We're better off with the Kool Aid Man, though. Yeah, maybe. God, could you imagine that breaking someone out of your life, and then, then it's just like, oh god, why? And then you break up, and you're suddenly single again, turning into a love square. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you go home and help the Kool Aid Man move out. You arrive at home to see, you arrive at home afterwards to see that Joanna is in the arms of Glenn Rivers. Ah, uh, <gasps> Glenn. Man, I wonder why he ran off right after he took our coffee order. <laughs> oh, bitch! It's like I thought he's be not pushing. home. Yeah. <laughs> thought I had plenty of time. I gave you like. Quadruple espresso shot. <laughs> He's here to take me away from all this, says Joanna as SHE runs off with Glenn. Wow, well, that sucks. You go back to drinking alone and shooting things in the face. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think it just means like, you know, like play, stuff with a BB gun uh, in the backyard. Or maybe just playing Call of Duty. That's just a violent, oh. violent way of saying he went to go play Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. go drink and shoot things in the face. <laughs> he just like sits on like the tutorial screen and shoots the the tutorial NPC in the face. Though that's how he plays <laughs> Call of Duty. I, I don't even have an Xbox Live Game Pass. I just shoot this guy <laughs> in the face, Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> You start with shooting small things in the face, but soon the thrill fades, and you need to shoot bigger things in the face. Oh no! Uh, you're, yeah, your rage has escalated. Time to take a trip to the Tennessee Zoo. <laughs> the Kool Aid Man is drinking alone in a bar when he notices a young man sitting by himself. The Kool Aid Man walks over to the young man and sits next to him. Mm -hmm. Like how Emily's like, I'm not touching yours. Yeah, no, you, okay, you walk in the bar and see the Kool-Aid man uh, chatting to a uh, younger, hotter version of yourself. <laughs> you explode into a rage... Uh, rage fueled, uh, whirlwind. And lunch at the Kool Aid Man. It's all a simple act of confusion, but you cheated on me with me. <laughs> Your attack is fast and strong, being the furious whirlwind you are. The Kool Aid Man dodges your attacks with cat like reflexes. You never knew he was that quick. Well, he's sober and we're sh pissed drunk. <laughs> oh, it just seems like that. He's just really moving at normal speed. <laughs> you attempt to strike. The Kool-Aid man again. But I he stops you. you. I still love you. 
But he stops you with a strong hug. Shh. Shh. <laughs> You're the fruit punch I want to love. <laughs> You need a relationship with less drama. Hey, some people, this is their lives. Yeah, they want a relationship with more drama. That's the point. Yeah, that's what they want as them. much. Yeah, more exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shh, he says as he drips refreshing Kool Aid into your open mouth. You take a moment to collect your thoughts as you realize how strong this man's arms are. <laughs> This man is a brick shit house and you feel safe in them. You stop struggling. Oh. I, I feel so safe in your big strong arm. Uh, so You're a brick shit house. You. You're the brick shit house I want to live in. <laughs> you hop into the Kool-Aid man. Let's go fuck in the bathroom. <laughs> you hop in the Kool-Aid. is... Is his aid warm? Is the Kool Aid Man warm aided? And Cold aid? Ooh, I don't know. And uh, thrash about passionately. Think it's more gross if it's warm. Yeah. Oh, he says back as he sets you down gently on the floor. You start to dance with the Kool Aid Man. Twisting and turning about the dance floor. <laughs> You're getting your Kool Aid kind of everywhere, man. <laughs> Shut up! You don't know what I've been through tonight. Seems to be going well, though. Looks like we're both happy. I'll never forget say, this night. I'm gonna say that um, you say to him, "Will you live with me?" Oh, okay. Prove our commitment. Show. We're not afraid anymore. I mean, uh, what's her nuts is gone, so who cares about Dina or Deanna? I don't even remember her name anymore. The face of passion. <laughs> 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 yep, that's it. He's uh, he's happy, but only a little bit happy. It's a little bit mysterious. You know? oh, what's he uh, slightly happy about? What's that flavor? Gotta taste that flavor. It could be fruit punch, it could be strawberry, it could be cherry. Be passion fruit. Oh no, if Glenn is sleeping with the Kool-Aid man, I'm out. I can't wait to try out this new dance called The Twist With You, says the Kool-Aid man. I live with you. <laughs> okay, yay! It's a happy ending! <laughs> yeah! Yay! All Come right. on, baby! We invented the twist! <laughs> if you did the twist, you'd just splash all over the place. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, the most wholesome story of the week has you dating the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, that's somehow... Yeah, that's how it works sometimes. You buy a fixer upper. Yeah, there we go. I'm so committed. I'm willing to buy real estate with you. Oh, baby. That, <laughs> oh, Kenny, that's sexy. Oh, and then we lean in for a kiss. Mm -hmm, nice. Yep. Unwholesome. You had to dance, and dancing is the worst. Well, not if you like dancing. I don't particularly like dancing. Love can happen at any time. That's right. Even the day after Christmas. You lean in for a sweet kiss. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, uh, it's, uh, Damn, I have to tell you this. You buy a fixer upper with the Kool-Aid man and spend your free time renovating your dream house together. You lean in for a sweet kiss, but the Kool-Aid man pulls away. Why? The doctor called yesterday, Why? Kenny. You've got diabetes. No! Oh. I'm no good for you. I'm no good for you. Okay. 
Lust and love are very different. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry, I have to go, he says. You stand there speechless as the collate man hops back into his pitcher and rolls away. Oh, oh, he was just like, his liquid was just out and about, and he hopped back into his pitcher. That's interesting. Wow. You look down at a note that Kool-Aid man handed to you. It's your diabetes testing kit that says you are, uh, are positive for diabetes. Oh my god. We're positive that you're positive. <laughs> We're positive you're <laughs> He gave us diabetes. <laughs> wow. God damn it. <laughs> I still love you. You look back and forth with tears streaming down your face as the collate pitcher disappears into the distance. Uh, that's that's really sad. Oh. God damn. Yeah. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. You guys are crying. <laughs> you live to the ripe age of 45 where you die. Of sugar. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, we die in the diabetes ward. You had a nice life. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> rent to the Kool Aid Man's <laughs> curse. <laughs> yeah, it's just rent. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. It's just rent, but with the Kool Aid Man and diabetes. <laughs> rent to diabetes, aka the Kool Aid Man's curse. <laughs> uh, it's a very long title. It really has nothing to do with Rent One, but <laughs> oh my god! Cue the Incredible Hulk piano music. Yeah, do 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 do, ba do 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 do, do 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 do. Bye bye, Kool Aid Man. That gone as fast as he came. Story. <laughs> hey, I can you tell us what we learned from the story? Ding, 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 Moral. Ding, ding, ding. We need a sad variation because that's very not not fitting for what just happened. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That was an interesting moral. Earth. Don't drink expired Kool-Aid. Oh no, that's what gave us the diabetes. The he was expired. Oh god, he was rotten, but we loved him. How did you get diabetes? Oh, I drank eight. Hundred gallons of expired Kool Aid. Yeah, I'm sure it was because it was expired. Yeah, it was 43 yeah. year old Kool Aid, but I loved him. I swam inside of him. <laughs> yeah, they're like, that's what did it. <laughs> <laughs> if you just drank a little bit at a time, it was the swimming around in them that really set you over. Yeah, you just had way too much. Yeah, that's that's not enough. That's way too much. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, what a wholesome but sad story. <laughs> His calm was split. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> when you're the Kool-Aid man, it's hard to find love. And when you're a man that has a beverage friend, it's really hard to find love. Sometimes yeah. you find love at the end of an entire high school basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the end of a horse cock. Uh, yeah, don't choke on it, everybody. That's... If it's... <laughs> If it's if it looks like it's too big to eat, then it probably is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I was trying to be more witty, but I was just being disgusting. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if anybody new's watching, we do this every night of day. We do a trilogy of AI dungeon stories with stories <laughs> from users like you. They're not always sexual, but sometimes, you know. It's yeah, like, usually. It, you know, we, it, I don't know. It's where <laughs> they are sexy. They are sexy. Yeah. Not always sexual. Uh, so yeah, give us a follow if you enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned Monday for the second episode of the AIPD cast. Also, oh yeah, uh, New Year's Eve. I'll be doing a six-hour stream, six oh. p.m. Eastern to midnight Eastern, and uh, we'll do countdowns along the way. At the top of every hour, we'll 
uh, Lolo Party Poppers. I don't know. Whatever the things I could find at the party store. Come drop the ball with us. Yeah, we'll be dropping the ball six times. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, tell your step Kool-Aid man, your step beverage fetishes. Your step hand specialists. Step long, long, long schlongs. Yeah, step retired porn stars with dick noses. <laughs> your step ultimate life forms. <laughs> <laughs> Which really was not the ultimate life. It was stopped pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, stepped weird faces. <laughs> your step... Uh, maybe don't tell your step basketball teams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let them just sleep peacefully into the night. I know that also, saying. Don't tell your step horses, for sure. Te don't tell no. your step... Step Debras or whatever. <laughs> step Joannas. That's why they say let sleeping horses lie. Yeah. You get them all excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see you tomorrow at 8, everybody. Bye, ho, wee, wee. Bye, ho, wee, wee. Good night, wee, wee. <laughs>